They're still the ones, the rock band Orleans, up next on Real Life. <laughs> You know their music, and if I tell you the titles, you'll be hearing the songs in your brain all night. Dance with me, let there be music, still the one. Orlean celebrates its 30th anniversary this year with the release of their anthology CD, Still the One Live. They hadn't played together in four years back in 2001 when John Hall called Larry Hoppin unexpectedly to discuss the possibility of the band playing at one of Orlean's favorite spots, Opus 40, in Woodstock, New York. The crowd was sold out and enthusiastic, and the band decided it was time to get back on the horse. The band is here today to perform for us, and original members Larry Hoppin and Lance Hoppin and John Hall are with us to talk about 30 years of rock and roll. Okay, now when you were all young guys, it was, right, it was antithetical that a, somebody who'd been in the business 30 years, right, would be still doing rock and roll? Well, talk to me. You already <laughs> talked about not trusting anybody who over was the, over the 30, exactly. let alone having been playing music in a band for 30 That's years. Right. So, right. so this is something that we didn't expect. Uh huh. What was it like back? So, first of all, tell me, how'd you get together? Now, we were all talking about where you live now and where you used to live. How did you all get together? I was in school up in Ithaca, New York. Mm -hmm. Actually, I had quit school, but I stayed there. And I had met Wells Kelly, uh, whose father happened to be the dean of architecture at Cornell. Uh -huh. And he was a fabulous drummer locally. And he wound up uh, playing in a band with me called Bafalongo. And that went on until uh, about 19, the end of 1971, when Wells got a call from John Hall, who had just moved up from New York to Woodstock. Mm -hmm. And Wells quit Bafalongo to go to Woodstock to be with John and start a band, and kind of sunk the ship of Bafalongo. <laughs> but a month later, the two of them called me, and I went down and joined them, and we started a trio. And nine months later, we, we called Lance up to uh, make a four-piece combo out of it. And I, I, I always wonder about this. How do you come up with what is your sound? Part of you do a lot of composing, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but, it, but there, there's really strong harmonics to, right? To yeah, harmonies. Yeah, some, it, some of it's um, uh, just organic, instinctive stuff. I mean, we all listen to some very musical um, artists and influences as we were growing up and I think that we all had the harmonies of the Beatles and the Beach Boys and you know some of the groups that really know how to sing together yeah. Larry and Lance being brothers of course have a sibling harmony sound that mm -hmm. is common to other the groups. Womb, I'm sure. Well, like the Everly Brothers or <laughs> yeah, the Jacksons right, right. or true. plenty that's of true. family yeah. right, right, singing right, combinations right. and I just that's have good. sung with them long enough at this point that uh -huh. that I've, I've sort of assimilated some of their sound that we you know we've we've adopted a, or achieved a blend together, but uh, uh, some of it was, was just a lot of hard work. Uh -huh. We played all the bars of the Northeast, upstate New York and New England and New Jersey, and we were in the circuit that went around and around for That's the first... That's where you get your experience and, and your strength. when you have right? to keep people up dancing, yeah. <laughs> so, that the, so yeah. that they'll sell drinks and the club owner will ask you back and, and, and hire the band again, then you, know, you sort of learn to... What to sing those harmonies, but at the same time to keep the rhythm section keep going rhythm strong. strong. Yeah, okay, we're just going to take a quick break. When we return, we will talk about the evolution of rock music through the eyes of Orleans. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Real Life. We're talking music with the three original members of the band Orleans. Lance and Larry Hoppin, they're the brothers, and John Hall. You know them, they've had a string of hits over the years, including Still the One, Dance With Me, and Love Takes Time. Their new CD is Orleans, Still the One, Live. Now, I was asking you guys during break, okay, so who wrote Still the One? I did. My <laughs> my first wife, Johanna, and I wrote Still the One and uh, and Dance With Me and, um, and a bunch of other songs. We, we all write, but we just, I think, Johanna and I got a start on it because uh, we've been writing for some other artists and had a publishing contract and had people encouraging us to look at it as a job, which uh, increases your output of mm -hmm. songs. Right, sure, sure. So now, you, you actually, it is the 30th anniversary of your first record contract, right? right? And, and the uh, release of our first album was 30 years ago. Wow, yeah. that, that's amazing. What was that? So you're all young guys, right? And th this is like always the big watershed moment, right, for bands? 
Well, you to think get it your is. contract. It, you, you think it is? <laughs> yeah, right. You think you've made it when you get a contract. Go on. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a milestone. I mean, to make your first album, and we were really fortunate. We made uh, the first album down in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, with a legendary bunch of guys there, Roger Hawkins and Barry Beckett and Jimmy Johnson. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took us all of two weeks from start to finish, which is wow. now we find amazing because it that takes was, us a lot longer now. twice as long as they wanted to take. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? They <laughs> yeah. only wanted to one. And how long does it take now? Uh, about a year. Yeah, really, really. Well, you guys are all spread out. Well, you have lives. Yeah, I mean, I think now that we're older, we can actually do it quicker because we don't get too myopic. But, uh -huh. you know, there's bands that have spent way more time and money in the studio than us making records. But two weeks is a short time. Um, <laughs> we were young. I was 20, 22 when that wow. record came out. Wow. And, you know, that would make him, what, 20? I was like 19. Yeah. Wow. And John was probably 24. And so, and your first hit was from that album, was it? Or no, our first hit, Dance With Me, was actually the next album that was released in America, but actually it was two albums away. It's kind of uh -huh. a long story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the, the first Top 40 single that we had was Larry's song, Let There Be Music, which uh, came out on the Let There Be Music album uh, as the first single, and that got into the Top 40. It was 30-something, I think, on the charts, and then it just introduced us to the nationwide audience until then we'd been known in the Northeast but that song kind of broke the the ice for us and then Dance With Me came out next and that went top five and was a uh, a really big record it was also covered by Chet Atkins and Earl mm. Clue and Bobby McFerrin so cool. and all these other people uh, so really so it's that really kind of started us on our um, on our path that we're still on. Okay, now talk to me a little bit about the song that we're going to show, that we're going to t listen to when we come back, right. which is Miss Grace, an extremely, to my mind, doo y kind of song. Yeah, a song that, that I wrote uh, with Johanna back in the early 70s for a group called The Times, mm -hmm. who did So In Love, which was sort of a doo oh, hit. Yeah. Yeah. So in love mm. are we two <laughs> that we don't know what to do. Oh, you guys are show off. So, uh, yes. <laughs> so uh, the Times had a number one record in England with this and a top five beach music hit here uh, in this country, but we have never, as Orleans, done our version of it. Until so, the live CD. Until okay. right here. We're going to take life. a quick break, and when we come back, we will hear Miss Grace. <laughs> Satin and perfume and lace The minute that I saw your face I knew that I loved you Hey you, listen to me Cause I got to tell the truth to you I just met a woman
Grace, we were just listening to the song Miss Grace from the new CD Orleans Still the One Live. The band's original members Lance Hoppin and Larry Hoppin and John Hall are my guests today. Well, that was something. So who's Thank the deep, right. is that you? The Ooh, deep um, voice. Bob Linebach, who's performing with us uh, today on the show and was in Bafalanga with Larry way oh, really? back he was when. in Bafalanga? Wow. And, and has yeah. been in Orleans a couple times off uh -huh. and off. He's singing bass on that. That's incredibly I deep. I could sing it if I wanted to. <laughs> I should mention too, um, we are three of the original four members of the band. Our original drummer, Wells Kelly, who was in that legendary band with Larry way, way back when, and on the first bunch of albums that we made together, um, passed away about uh, 18 years ago. Uh, 84. Yeah, yeah 19 years but ago. He's, almost he's on this new CD quite a bit because it has live tracks from 73 to now. Uh huh. That's, right. that's really good. That's right. great. So, you guys are touring again? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're touring, we're, we're writing songs for a new record, we're working uh -huh. on all kinds of things. Uh-huh, and what is that like, because that's a hard life, isn't it, being on the road, or not? Well, you guys take such good care of us here. Yeah, I mean, well, the food well, of course is great. we do. We've got bagels. The green yeah. room bagels yeah, are yeah. really unparalleled. Yes, it's, it's, a, no, it's a hard. For us, a tour is like three days on a weekend. That's <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too hard. Then we go home and go, shh, that was hard. We yeah. Have, you know, we, we toured a lot in the 70s yeah. and into the 80s, and now we have families and other things to do. So we tour in a different mode now. So it's a, there's a balance to be struck. But it, it's still a lot of fun, and that's why we do it, uh, because we when we get on stage and we get in the studio, or whatever, we have a good time. So we'll keep doing it as long as it's uh, fun. Well, you got to tell me about family because you've got twins, and I do one have of twins. the songs on the album that I was just chuckling over as I was lis listening to it coming in on the car, which well, is "My Home Is a Zoo" or something. My, and house, is, my house, house is like a zoo. It's the full title is "Ever Since I Had My Children." Yes. My house like, it's a blues. It's the only blues I've ever written. I wrote it when the twins turned two. Yeah, right. And, which um, is a key age for writing the blues. I'm telling. Right. Yeah, that's right. And they they are seven now, and they they have dubbed the song the Heine song because <laughs> there's a verse in it that talks about their heinies. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and they so, and they didn't care when they were really young, but now they're uh, getting embarrassed. Now they I just don't tell them I'm going to do this song because they go, Dad, don't do that song. Don't do the Heine song. But actually, you know, it's fun. Everybody likes it. Now, what do you think? Uh, 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 do you listen to current rock in its many manifestations? Yeah, yeah. I listen. I try to listen to everything. Yeah. I try to listen to, uh, uh, well, I'll just say this is yeah. me, I'm not speaking right. for them, but I, but I suspect it's the same, that, I mean, I listen to country music, I listen to jazz, I listen to blues, I listen to reggae, yeah. I listen to rock, but you know, there are I, so I listen many to classical, you know, I mean, I've been, I, and I, uh, there's always been, in any era, and in any genre, there's always been good music and bad yeah. music being made, and you just have to find what you like. Because I find myself overwhelmed when my kids, you know, one of them is into ska, the other is into Stretch Armstrong, which is some sort of metal, I think. I don't, you know, metal band, I don't know. But uh, I, I find it hard, and there's a lot of screeching, too. Yeah. But of course, that's what they said about our rock band. Well, they have to offend you. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, or it wouldn't be rock and roll. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, Orlean sings their mega hit, Still the One. Stick around. You don't want to miss it. 
You can catch Orleans on tour this summer on July 5th at Christopher Columbus Park in Worcester, Massachusetts, on July 26th at the Hat Shell in Boston, Massachusetts, and on August 9th at the Danbury Green in Connecticut. For more tour dates, log on to www.orleansonline.com. Welcome back to Real Life. We're talking with members of the band Orleans, Lance Hoppin and Larry Hoppin, and John Hall. The band is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year with a new CD, Orleans, Still the One Live. Okay, well, you were just saying, Larry, during break, that uh, you think kids are just not exposed to a whole variety of music anymore. Well, I think um, kids need to go and find variety if they want it. Uh, if they're just listening to mainstream radio or whatever, you know, the, I think it's a fairly narrow uh, spectrum of music that gets to get on those channels. Right. But it's out there, a lot of good stuff out there, and not just in, not just in popular music, but classical, all kinds of other stuff, jazz. And kids do go out and they, they do find that stuff on the internet or, right. or in other means. Um, but it seems to be uh, that's the way you need to do it. Yeah, because we the playlists we were, are fairly narrow. Yeah, and when we were radio. young, a radio station would have, you know, you'd hear P Peter, Paul, Mary, the singing nun, then you'd hear, uh, <laughs> you'd, you'd, Johnny Cash. you'd hear Johnny Cash, then and you'd James hear Brown. Motown, right. and, and, you know, and then you'd hear the Beatles. Right, right, so, right, so you had your range. Yeah. Do, it's all pigeonholed now. Do people come up to you and say, you know, your song meant so much to me, it's what I think of? The way this record came to be, Yeah. okay, we did a gig in Florida at a racetrack called Gulfstream Park, and afterwards a guy comes up who's a fan of ours from Ithaca, New York, and he said, oh man, I love you guys, and I've, I've loved your music for so long, and I got this track I want to play for you. Uh -huh. that, I, that means so much to me, you know. Uh -huh. So we went out to his car afterwards <laughs> in the parking lot, and he pops in a You're CD. There listening to he a pops in a CD of us in 1975 doing the Bob Marley song, uh, Trench Town Rock, uh -huh. and then which I think is now on yes, this right, album, right? right which yeah. we didn't have. Wow, it was right, a tape that yeah. we didn't have, and he's got a CD of it. Yeah, and then we went, wow, what's that from? And he told us, and then we got a copy of it, and so on. And then one of our old sound engineers calls us up and says, "Man, I got this tape of you guys from Wesleyan University in 1976 doing Waking and Dreaming, the title track of the Waking and Dreaming album. <laughs> got a copy of that. We started to get turned on to these things so by our fans. Were, by fans our friends. were compiling for you for this yeah, live were, anthology. Were that we put an album like this together. So uh -huh. we did. And then we went into our own closets and we started burrowing and pulling uh, right, things right, out right. and oh, digging, yeah. oh, listening to the from tapes. 20 years ago, that 25. you say, someday I'll listen to that pile of tapes. Yeah. You know? wow. We finally went back and listened. We pulled off the 17, what we thought were the best tracks. Yeah, they really, it's, it's really spanning great. Spanning the whole three decades. And it must have been really something, going back through your own past. It was like going through an old sca scrapbook of our, of our collective lives. We have a lot of photos in there with the music as well. And yeah, we do get a lot of people coming up saying, st you know, my parents used Still the One for their anniversary yeah. song, oh, right, or right. we used Forever at our high school reunion, or Time Passes On at a funeral. And you know, at the end of the day, doing music, I mean, Anthems of what living. our dream is to, okay. is to touch people's lives. Fabulous. So. Okay, we want to thank you all for being with us. Uh, viewers, do not go away. I want to uh, uh, let you know we're going to close out today's show with the performance we taped earlier of the song You Know It Well, Still the One.